All right, example A asks us to graph the square SQRE and then find the image after translation and then graph and label the image. And the translation says that we're going to subtract 2 from each y co or x coordinate and add 3 to each y coordinate. So first let's see that square SQRE. So our blue square right here, SQRE, down here in the bottom right, is our original figure. And if we pick any point, let's say point R right here, its coordinates are 5, 4. So the original figure's point of 5, 4, so that's point R, is going to be translated by x minus 2. So we're going to have 5 minus 2. Oops, don't need that. need a comma. And then y plus 3. So we're going to have 4 plus 3. So r prime, or in other words, the new location for r, should be 5 minus 2, which is 3, and 4 plus 3, which is 7. And if we take a look at that r prime up over here, we can see that its location is 3, 7, which is exactly what we calculated. Yeah, and we can do the same thing for the other three points, Q, S, and E. In each case, we just take the location of the, of the point, say S is 1, 2, and we then subtract 2 from the X coordinate and add 3 to the Y coordinate to get the new location or the prime version of that point so that we get the new location of the next square. Then we just draw those four lines in. Once we have those four points, we draw the four lines in for the new square and we label them as the prime versions of the original points, Q prime, R prime, E prime, S prime, so that our new square looks exactly the same as the original. It's just been moved to the left two and up three units from where it started. All right, example B. Example B asks us to find the translation rule to go from triangle TRI to triangle T prime, R prime, I prime. So we need to look at the two triangles and see what happens if we go from our original triangle here to this triangle, our prime triangle down here. So let's count the movement of any given point. Let's say um, R, yeah? Point R right here is at 2, 6, yeah? And the new R over there goes horizontally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six points, so our x change is positive six, and our y change is down one, two, three, four points. So we have a y change of negative four to get from r to r prime. So let's see if that works for the next point. Let's try um, i. Yeah, We should have a six, a change of positive six on the x-axis, so over six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then down four on the y-axis, one, two, three, four, which puts us solidly on that new i prime point. So that is indeed our rule of changing here, our rule of translation. And we write that as take your original x and y coordination and translate it by x plus 6 and y minus 4 to get you a new point. And we can apply that then to t and we'll get the same the same result. Cool? Alright, example C. Example C says show that triangle TRI from the first uh, example B is congruent to triangle T prime R prime I prime. So we have our two figures, and what we're going to need to do to see if they're really congruent is measure the three sides. So we'd start with, say, point I right here, and we'd measure the distance to point R. Well, we do that with our Pythagorean theorem, and we go from our location of I, which is at negative 2, 8, And we're going to go over to R, which is at 2, 6. And we need to find the rise and the run so that we can calculate that third side. So to go from I down to R, we have negative 2 on this side of the triangle. And then over to R, we have positive 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 on this side of the triangle. So our triangle is going to be have a short side of 2 and another short side of 4 and alongside using the Pythagorean theorem of the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. So if we go down 
take a look at our original triangle over here. This has been calculated for us. I wanted to save us a little time. So we found our distances here. We have 4, 2 minus negative 2 squared, and 6 minus 8, that's 2 squared. So that's these two sides, 2 and 4. And that gives us the square root of 20 as a length, square root of 20 as a length for side IR. Well, correspondingly, side R prime I prime is also square root of 20 right here. So if we compare each of the three sides, we can see that each of the three pairs of sides, TR and T prime R prime, they're both root 34, and TI compared with T prime I prime, those are both root 26. All three sides of our two triangles are exactly the same, which means that the two triangles are indeed congruent, since that's the definition of congruency. And there we go.